Okay, this is going to be for another video in PlayStation Vita reviews, or one of my favorite games to come out so far this year, Danganronpa 2. Um, Danganronpa 2 is, by all accounts, one of the strangest games I've ever played. Um, I played the first one a little bit, and I was pretty hooked on it. It's by a group known as Spike Chunsoft. Um, it is a very traditional Japanese um, text-driven story narrative game. Um, it has all kinds of weird, strange features. I'm going to hit new game just so that you can see what I mean by text-driven uh, for those of you that might not be familiar with it. Um, so we're going to tell it to go in English. Um, I'm going to turn the sound up, sorry. Because that's one of my favorite things about this game. It has really great music um, for the type of gameplay that it is. Um, and that's one of the things with like a narrative driven game like this, I think, that you have to have. So, okay, so upon loading up, we're going to meet uh, a couple different characters. Um, the basic premise of this game is that. You were accepted to a academy uh, that is for like the best of the best. So like the best mechanical student, the best uh, kendo student I think was one, the best culinary student was one, and they kind of all bring their own unique personalities. The only thing is, is when you awake, you can't remember what you're the best at. Um, so I'm gonna keep going through here and. We're going to see some of the interesting art that has me really loving this game for what it is. Um, eventually, you're going to meet uh, Monokuma, who is one of the few carryovers from the original game. Uh, Monokuma is the guy that basically set all this up. Now, the reason the screen looks like it's freaking out is because it is. Um, it is like it's on an old CRT monitor. Um... There's some more example of that, just really, really great music that this has going on for it. Um, so, we're going to go through a little bit here. That would be you. That's who you play as. Um, so, the thing that is different from this game, from the original, is this game all takes place on an island um, that Monokuma, well, his sister takes you to. Um, instead of in the academy like the first one was. Um, but, you know, again, as you can see, it's now, what, three minutes into this, and we still haven't really done anything. It's all going to be text. Um, this is not a game for the people that want to just push buttons and go, go, go. This is something very akin to reading a book and kind of interacting with it. Um, one of the more interesting things that you're going to do during it, I will show in the second part of this, I'll slap them all together here, um, when you actually get to the action, it's very different, there's a lot of things going on, um, and it can be kind of frustrating because it takes it from the stance that you have to know everything that's going on at all times. Um, they're going to introduce you to a ton of classmates here, um, each one being the best at something specific. Um, your character kind of plays this whole, I don't know what I'm the best at, um, but, you know, the end goal is to eventually kind of get your memory back and solve all these crazy mysteries that happen on the island. Um, and that's not the screen freaking out, That that's the game. It does weird stuff like this um, all the time, which is kind of cool. Um, you know, it, it's not like anything that I've ever really played before, and I appreciate that very much about it. Um, you know, as somebody that likes JRPGs, that likes um, a very narrative-driven game, this is just completely excellent. Okay, so picking up a little bit into this, um, there's not really 
spoilers, you're eventually going to find it out here anyways. Um, you know, we're still in the game. This is the very first trial. So we're going to hit um, set skills. Open handbook kind of gives you um, different things that you picked up. These are what they call truth bullets. As you can see, I have none. Um, so it's going to be kind of interesting. So we're going to go down. We're going to hit finish preparations. And now is where a lot of the really kind of strange stuff is going to happen as far as why this works so well on the Vita. Okay. There's Monokuma that we were talking about earlier. That would be Monokuma's sister. Um, so let me kind of fast forward a little bit here. Like I said, it's narrative even getting to the one part of action uh, does take a little bit of time to get to. Um, so let's keep going. Okay. So now the trial starts and. This is where it gets weird because you have to fire your truth bullets that they give you along with uh, slashing across the screen in a touch manner in order to strike down people's lies. It, it's, it's very strange. Uh, this is definitely one of the cooler things and one of the more bizarre kind of things about it. Um, so... What you're going to do, and I'm going to just kind of do it, not necessarily a good fashion. So those are your truth bullets. So we're going to say, we're going to take uh, the knife. When you, when you think you have a truth statement lined up, as you can see, the reticle kind of flashes red. Um, and as you can see, it is very quick. Um... Press triangle and that shoots. Um, and as you can see, there's there's tons of stuff going on. Um, you know, it's different. Um, now the thing is, is when you get to a specific point. Um, and as you can see, you can fire the truth bullets as many times as you want. Sorry. In the interest of trying to get to the next part. Um, that would be it. And if you miss, that's the other kind of crappy thing. Um, it just kind of loops through the particular... Uh, statements that everybody makes and it's going to keep you on this loop until you get this specific combo right um, and like I said you know it, it takes a while it, it's this is not a game to pick up and play you know really quick um, you know it does require a pretty significant time investment um, so yeah Thanks for watching.